Ode to My Hands Beauty is momentary in the mind, the fitful tracing of a portal, but in the flesh it is immortal. Wallace Stevens, from Peter Quince at the Clavier Sometimes I think my old hands are beautiful, like Arabians nuzzled into Kentucky bluegrass. Their coats with the satin of chestnuts before they are roasted. My hands, though, are spotted, more like giraffe skin, and lying across my book, as if they might be newborn, awkward foals, not able to be deft with small pieces, like the backs of my pearl earring studs. Baby giraffes, looking up but resting against their mother book. My handwriting gets smaller and harder to read. These spotted, translucent hands seem too plump to write a thin line. They do look like miniature hens, pale frogs, or shaky-legged foals, as they rest on pages of Wallace Stevens or on my denim knees. Still, they cleave to my body, though it hardly seems to belong to me anymore. My mind curls also, like the giraffe's lashes, fringe petal-like and so inappropriately, as if for romance, as do my old hands. In Tai Chi, you are supposed to hold out beautiful lady wrists. And as I was circling through the form this morning, Piercing into my living room windows came a shaft of light that exactly passed into my undulating hands. A pen of light dipped into its own ink, and I pulled it through the air, knowing for a moment that despite my age, I could still write this ode and perhaps even still reinvent myself with the hands that have always longed to play at Peter Quince's Clavier.